Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I thought I'd start things off a little bit differently today. I promise there will be some chess in this video, some four-player chess. Uh, but I've gotten a lot of comments recently asking how to play four-player chess or how to find four-player chess. So at the beginning of this video, I want to take a moment just to explain the basics, how to join a game, how to start a game, how to use custom positions, all that. So if you already know how that uh, works, you can skip ahead. I'll put a time code uh, up here <laughs> for the, uh, the time in the video that you can go to uh, if you want to skip um, this introduction. But for the rest of you, uh, first thing you'll do is go to chess.com. Uh, you can register an account. It's free to join. All you need is an email address. Then to find four-player chess on the play tab over on the side here, we'll look for four-player chess. There is a variant server that you can go to. And if you click this, it will link to four-player chess. So it takes you straight there. Or you can go directly there with this, or just use this URL. Um, so when you get here, you'll see uh, the board layout. You'll look at uh, some games being played over on the side. You can go to the Play tab. I think by default, it'll be set to Standard. Now, if you want to play Standard, you can. Those games uh, use this, this standard board layout. Um, but uh, if you want to play like the cool kids do, <laughs> You can go to the variants. Uh, you can filter these by variants. And this list shows um, all of the available seeks that uh, people have out for games. So you can join, for instance, Foursquare is a, is a game looks like this. Um, a game called King Rivalry. This is a tournament game. Maybe I'll explain a little bit about those. Um, maybe not. But uh, other games that are just called variants, uh, these are positions that people have, uh, have made up. You can see uh, games in green are rated, games in blue are casual. You can also toggle this to only look at the rated games if you want. Um, and then on the watch tab, you can, uh, you can see what games are being played currently. So this is a game that's currently in progress. All right. So to start a new game, you can of course uh, join a queue that you see over on the side, something like that. Um, but we won't do that for now. But clicking any of these play buttons will allow you to join that game. When it fills up to the appropriate number of players, that game will start. Uh, if you want to start your own game, you have a couple options. You can choose from the listed positions. So that button's over here, new game. And when you first open this, uh, it's the standard, uh, standard menu this would start a standard game. Now if you want to use a custom position like I play, uh, you click this button and scroll down to custom starting positions and then you have a lot of options here. In the menus, uh, I know you guys can't see the menus, but we do have menus from this drop down. Things like, oh I want to play King of the Hill games or I want to play mini games. Right? Mini games would be something like uh, something like this position here. It's not the full uh, full board size, it's one step down. Um, or that one that we just looked at plus is a, is a reduced board size, so it's in the, in the drop-down menu for mini. Um, but to find War for Throne, uh, you can look in under King of the Hill, you can look under, excuse me, end check, and they're sorted alphabetically, so War for Throne here. There are three versions. There's War for Throne original. I think I've played this one before on the, on the channel. Uh, there is War for Throne 2. Of course, that's the game that, uh, that we know and love. And then there's War for Throne Chronicles, which is... Uh, it's actually the, the one that replaced Mini. I think the, the video I put out on my channel for Mini was a different position from this, and actually I think that's what we're going to be playing today. And I'll show you how to do that. So these are the listed custom positions. These are the ones that you can play uh, rated. Um, if you want to play other games, other game modes, make up your own, you can do that. Uh, but these are the ones that are avail available to be played uh, rated. So just to show you here, I'll click War for Throne 2. I'll set a uh, uh, an open so anyone can join. This would be a rating range. Typically I play with 1800 plus or 1900 plus, but uh, for this I'll click that. Uh, time control, one and five, five second delay is good. That's uh, 
that's my the one that I like to play. Um, and then you would click play, and you'll see here the the queue is available on the side. Um, and as players join, this number will go up. You can see when the game uh, is getting ready to start. So there's that. The other thing uh, you can do is join a game based off of a game that's already been played. So I'll I'll show you how that works. So here I've loaded up a game that I uh, played a long time ago. I found that in my archives. Uh, if you go to this archive tab here, you can um, find games that have already been played. And I just searched Throne War Mini uh, and found the first one that popped up from my archive was this one. And we can actually use this game to play. Um, the other thing to note is that this game ID here in the URL is unique for this game. So you can uh, find other games and give each other the URL or the game ID and just paste that into this, uh, this URL to, to load those games. All right. Um, so from here, what I will do is I will click this drop down. This is actually something I think not many people know you can do. But if you click this drop down, and this button here is create new custom game with these rules. So if I play this, of course it has to be casual because this is no longer a rated custom position. Uh, but if we press that, uh, what I'll do is I will make it not anonymous. I'll add spectator chat because that's always fun. And then we can do a, uh, let's do a bullet time control with a delay. All right. So I'm going to click play, and uh, we'll wait for this queue to fill up, and we will play this game. OK, so I missed, uh, I missed the start of the game, but we, it just, just started now. So um, here we are playing 1-3. Uh, I, I did change it, so it's not the 1-2 time control that we had talked about, but 1-3 is good enough. Uh, Blitz. Um, and as always, promoting is good. So I'm going to try and get these promotions done safely. Um, so I'm going to back off here. Yellow's probably going in. Green's going to stay there, if I had to guess. So yeah, OK, not a smart move by blue, giving yellow a free Free King. All right, what's green going to do here? Um, you know, I can take here. I think that's a double attack. Um, we can go here. I'm guessing that yellow's going to, well, yellow could do anything, really. Um, but I'm not going to take that from green. Material is more important, uh, and I wouldn't be gaining anything. It would just be a trade. I want to do this, see if I can block off a trade from, or block off a promotion from blue. And meanwhile, get a promotion of our own. Do I want to trade that? I, still, I think I'm going to play the coward's game, so step back. Uh, I'm going to maintain that tension. You know, I'm going to just step up here. So if blue wants to trade, uh, he can. Or if he wants to give me free material, he can do that too. Let's go for that option. Yellow not really getting gaining anything from there, but blue's down to just a just a couple, uh, three, three pieces overall. <laughs> and he knows it. So what's the idea going to be here? Green is getting really active there. Um, and yellow looks like he's probably going towards the center. Blue giving us more free, free material. All right, guys, are we going to play the game or are we going to chit chat? All right, the good news is I'll have second place here uh, ahead of green. So if green wants to do something about this game, he's got to start uh, start trading with, uh, with yellow. Blue could go here, and if I take that stalemate, 
So he does have, have that trick available. Um, let's do this. And now our goal is going to be to stop yellow from getting to the center. Yellow has a check there, or a check there. Alright, so the, the question is, how is yellow going to get... I guess this would be a good option for yellow. Although, it's been a while since I've played this game, yellow doesn't have any expansion options in the center. He can get his royal king here, but he's got to make room for it somewhere, and these, uh, these moves aren't going anywhere. I guess I'll take the checkmate, so I'll do that. Um, and as long as green and I maintain these three kings, uh, yellow can't get to the center. All right. Uh, you know, I don't want to promote this yet. Uh, that might scare scare green off and give yellow a chance to move here, which would be game over. Uh, we can do this. And I'm not going to take that. Unless take it's one no no I'm not going to take that. I was thinking if there's a way I could get checkmate there on green. Ooh, so now we're in trouble. Um, yeah, good thing green is maintaining this pressure. Now all I need is one more checkmate to win the game, then I can claim the win. All right, if you notice the points, I'm at 58. So that's uh, that's right where, we're, where we need to be. Okay, if yellow's giving up the center, I'll take it. If only for the moment. I don't really need to be aggressive here because uh, because I'm, I'm in the lead. But I'd rather me being in the center as opposed to green. All right, so now, now we're going to take our time. We're in no hurry to do anything. If the game ends in uh, repetition or anything like that, uh, we, we win on points. So, let's maybe go for a repetition. I wouldn't mind. It's not all that, that exciting for the video, but uh, if they want to play that, Interesting. Okay, let's rematch. So when you're doing uh, when you're doing this game, you can rematch, or if it's a casual game, you can reinvite uh, reinvite players. So that's what I'll do. Um, I guess I'll make it a public game so other people can join, and we'll we'll get one more in there. And like I said, the idea for anything else, promoting is good. And this will be the last game for today. Uh, we did win that one, so we're we're one for one so far. Uh, let's do this. And let's get in some more promotions. This followed by this maybe. So green's in trouble. I think I can intervene with this idea. Yeah, so green should definitely take here because I'm going to capture here next, and yellow would have to either let green recapture or give up another king. Uh, give up two, that is. Are you gonna take uh, which one are you gonna take? That's the that's the main idea. So if we're done with the chit chat over here, we can take that. <sighs> what are we doing here, guys? I mean, you're wasting a lot of time just trying to figure out uh, what you're figuring out in the in the chat.
All right, there we go. Now we can take here. Now red could do this, and again, if I take here, yellow's free to take here because red's going to take here next. So that's an option. I guess we're not going to find that. Uh, but now green will get a chance to recapture before being harassed by red. Um, I'm going to I'm going to preserve material. I could have gone either way there. I'm not I'm not quite sure there was a, a best move to play there, play in that scenario. Um, but I am nervous about this, especially if yellow continues to exert pressure on uh, green's kingside. Yeah, so that that kind of makes me nervous. Maybe I'll put some pressure on yellow just to allow green some reprieve. Now green's getting ready for this promotion if red gets any closer. Uh, meanwhile, let's support this. Again, we want to we want to maintain this pressure on yellow, I think. Um, hmm. Tempted to take that check, but there's no follow-up. Okay, now I'll take this. Uh, it's an even material trade, and I'm getting a check out of it, so I will almost always take that deal. And now yellow can get in this. Uh, I'm okay with I'm okay with that, I guess, for now. Maybe this, uh, but then red could do that after yellow captures. Okay, so not not a good idea. Green could go check, check, check. So green could get an easy checkmate on on red there. Sacrifice checkmate that is. Um, maybe I'll do this. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. All right, and now we can go here, oh, or maybe not. Maybe we'll go here instead. I want to support this position more than more than just once. Um. Okay, I don't want to trade. Let's. Uh, Hmm. Maybe let's go with that idea. Although I did say I wanted to support this more than just once, right? So red can retreat here. If not, I'm going to go to the center. Okay. Um, so now this is supported more than once, and it's kind of a waiting game. We do only have six points, but... Uh, but what? I have the most material left on the board, so I have, I guess you might call that equity. All right, this last promotion, I don't want to, yeah, I can't do this or this or this because this piece is hit twice. So let's uh, let's trade this, this one off, and maybe we can get in that promotion. I think I will also back off because I don't want to trade all of my pieces. So now I can step over and get in my last promotion. All right. Is that worth the risk of a trade? You know, at this stage, maybe it's not so much of a risk. Uh, points are starting to matter more here as people are getting more and more timid about trading. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a waiting move just once. I want to see what's going on here with. Uh, with red and green, nothing, huh? All right, now I'm gonna. I am going to make that promotion. Yeah, let's do that now.
And so now red's hit twice. Yeah, this is this is not good for red. Because now uh yellow green can capture, I get a free king out of the deal. Um green could even go for that sacrifice checkmate we were looking at earlier. Let me go here. I doubt green's gonna take a a waiting move because he's losing the checkmate there. Okay, now we'll do this. I want to prevent green from making trouble for us on this side. Um, let's do that right away. We were we were looking in the last game about uh, having having a safe square to turn to. Oh, yellow could take here. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but I will take green. I will definitely take green because green's down to his last pawn. Or his last king. So I'll take that and without any kings on the board, uh, green doesn't have much much to hope for. And I think we should be fine here with uh, with yellow. Maybe even giving this up. Yeah, I think this is fine. We just need need some clearance here. And there's no sacrifice checkmate lined up. If yellow had a king there, there would be a sacrifice checkmate after this, so one, two, three. But having these here is no good. All right, so we'll do this. There's that, but there's no follow-up. And then there's this. And this. All right. So good game. Uh, I guess we aren't showing the ratings. Yeah, we are showing the ratings. So 1500s and playing like it. Anyhow, uh, hope you enjoyed this encore presentation of Mini, Throne War Mini. Uh, classic, classic game. Unfortunately, like I said, it's no longer available to be played rated. Uh, the replacement is the game that we looked at earlier. Uh, where is it? War for Throne Chronicles, which is neat. Uh, oops. Uh, it's this one. I haven't uh, spent too much time playing this, but uh, maybe someday. Anyhow, uh, like always, thanks for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. And we'll...